What is up guys, this is Alex Melton with Kaiju Island and today I'm going to be doing a figure review of the 1998 re uh, sculpt of King Ghidorah but it is the 2005 repainted version and this is the Heisei King Ghidorah uh, by Bandai Japan. Um, quick note, really quick, uh, I haven't been doing as many videos as I used to. Uh, the main point of uploading so much in the beginning phases of the account was just to get videos up there and now I'm kind of just relaxed a little bit recording videos as, as I wish. So either way, we'll go ahead and get into it. Like I said, this is the Heisei King Ghidorah from uh, the 90s. You can see the original sculpt is 1998 on his foot, but this is the 2005 repainted version which is a lot more vibrant. And uh, as it says on the tag, 2005, right there. Um, so either way, we'll get right into it with initial, with initial detail. So initially, this figure looks really awesome, and it's a must-have for any Godzilla fan. As King Ghidorah is the, the you know, one of Godzilla's considered one of Godzilla's arch nemesis. But um, we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and take a look, starting from the head. You can see the amount, the massive amount of detail they put into the head here. Yeah, I mean, it's got the really nice sculpt. You can see the teeth, the tongue on the inside. Uh, the two heads on the outside, uh, the mouths are open, and then the one in the middle, the mouth is closed. And it looks really awesome. You can kind of get like that variation right there. See his other head. You've, you've got all the bumps and ridges for his nose, all the little, just the amount of detail is amazing. Even the little bumps on the nose right here and just the little horns, the little nubs on his head, everything. Going from the neck down, you can see he's got the little platelets under his neck going down. And then, I mean, the whole figure itself just has, I mean, just scales everywhere, which is awesome. It looks just like the, the, the King Ghidorah suit. You can see the scales here. We've also got the bulges from where his, head, his two outside heads kind of come out. And you've also got up here on the wings, you've got the, uh, you know, the scales again. You've got the really thin flaps, which look awesome and come out right up to here. And then down here near the legs, you've got, you know, the knees, and you've, and which look really awesome. And then you've also got here, you know, you've got your calves and your feet. And the feet look really good as well. You turn them around. Move the tag out of the way real quick. Alright, so here on his back, you know, the same thing for the wings in the back. You can also see the spikes running down the back of his neck here. But you've also got here near the wings, you've got the scales everywhere again. Coming down to the twin tails. You can see the tails look really nice. They've got the scales running all down them. And then you've also got here, you've got his little flares out on the end of his tails. Which look really nice. So overall, I mean, this figure is really nicely detailed, and I mean, it just it looks awesome. Uh, we'll get into, you know, coloration. I mean, obviously, your first thought is, wow, he is he is golden. And I mean, that is that is the King Ghidorah color. He is, he's the gold dragon. So yeah, you've got your base coat of the really shiny, high-gloss gold. And then you've also, right here on the head, you've got the red eyes, and you've also got the black pupils. And you've also got... The red for the tongue and silver, kind of whitish silver for the teeth. And we'll also look, oh yeah, and mention in detail, you can also see right here some horns on the side of the head. But um, back in the coloration, you can also see there's this brownish, this brownish color right in here, kind of like shadows just about. You got some right up in here as well. And it kind of comes down where the shadows would be, which looks really nice. You've also got some of that brownish color in the wings where the shadows would be, which looks awesome. So it really adds accent to the wings. Uh, you've got shadows here by the knees, which looks really nice. Let's see. And then you've also got the silver for the toenails. And on the back here, you've also got more shadows for the wings, which really gives it that accent and really gives it that, that color. Uh, now that the tag's right here, we'll look at the tag real quick. Take a quick look at this. So on the outside of the tag, you've got just your, your picture of King Ghidorah. Hey, say King Ghidorah. And you've also got, you know, all of your, uh, all of your kanji inside of the tag here. Another photo of King Ghidorah. 
And then on the back, you've got the uh, Movie Monster series type, you know, logo with Godzilla up there. You've also got Bandai 2005, which is the repaint standard Bandai licensed by Toho. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the points of articulation. This figure has four points of articulation. You've got the wings, which can rotate. So both of the wings can do this type of a uh, rotating motion here. I don't know if it's this figure hasn't been rotated much, so they don't move that well because you know I, I don't really mess with the articulation that much. I get the figure to set them on my shelf. You've also got the legs, which rotate. And you got this leg as well. But like I said, they're they're a little they're a little finicky to rotate with one hand, seeing as I don't move them quite often. But you can see that it's got that rotation. So, like I said, Bandai figures, and I've said this in previous videos, Bandai Japan vinyl figures aren't really for the articulation. They, I mean, they have it, but they're more for you know sitting them, collecting them. Price wise, I've looked I've looked around for this guy. I mean, the 2005 repaint version is. I wouldn't say widely available, but it's available, and you know you'll probably find it. You go look it up. Um, I've seen them on uh, definitely on Amazon. You can find them for uh, I think it's sixty sixty to seventy dollars. Uh, on eBay, you get lucky. I uh, looked on eBay, you can find them for around fifty, maybe even you know high forties. So, in terms of rarity, he's not all that rare. I mean, maybe if you find the original nineteen ninety eight sculpt, he'll be he'll have a little bit of a harder time. But, um, well, you know, the original painted 1998, but, you know, for this guy, you know, with the repaint and, you know, how they always repaint them and send them out so that, you know, they can make more profit, uh, you can definitely find him for a, you know, for a much cheaper price, the 2005 repaint. So, in terms of rarity, he's not all the rarest, but, you know, some of the original versions of him are, you know, harder to find. So, pretty much... At this point now, I'm just going to kind of give you guys just some views to show you guys just, you know, everything you want to see. You can see all the detail that's been put into this figure. Give you some rotation here. So yeah, this this figure looks looks and I mean it, it and in person it looks a lot better. The gold isn't as golden as it as it might look in this video. Uh, I have the flash on because it makes it look you know it makes it I mean it makes the quality and everything a lot better. But I mean it it isn't as bright and yellowish of a gold. It's more of like a flat gold. But um yeah either way if if you're a fan of King Ghidorah or you know obviously Godzilla fans are gonna want this figure if you don't have it already you can still find it for a pretty decent price it's not overly ridiculous for uh, this certain version and um so this has been it for the King Ghidorah uh, the Bandai Japan King Ghidorah 1998 sculpt uh, 2005 repaint repainted version uh, if you like this video just like comment subscribe and also Make sure to check out our Instagram at kaiju underscore island. Uh, also, I know I've mentioned before that we're going to G-Fest. Uh, if any of you guys watching this video are going to G-Fest and would like to meet up with us, by all means, just message us, let us know what's up. And um, we're also going to be covering our time at G-Fest with a uh, continuous documenting video and uh, just all of our experiences at G-Fest. So you guys be sure to check that out. This has been Kaiju Island, Alex Melton, and I will see you guys later. Also, guys, if you want to be interactive with my account, just let me know which figure I should review next. I've got quite a few sitting here waiting to be reviewed, some that I have reviewed and some that I haven't. Oh, actually, a majority of them that I haven't. So, uh, just this just this look here of my collection as it is so far. Uh, you can request any of them, and I will gladly do any. No matter what, they can be NECA, Bandai Japan, SH Monster Arts, Bandai Creations, even off-branded, uh, just everything I've got down here. I mean, and, you know, I've also got, you know, these figures here, some here. And I know I've already reviewed some of them, but yeah, guys, just let me know. 
any other reviews you'd like to see if this helps out you know judging your choices then just let me know and uh like i said i'm more figures are coming all the time i'm constantly getting new figures i've, I've been collecting pretty much my whole life so uh just be sure to let me know what you want to see next later